excuse me for the darkness because I'm on my porch and in the dark. <laughs> I think I need to turn a light on. <laughs> but I'm using the cord to charge this laptop. I'm in the dark because it's quiet. It's cool out here. <laughs> so simple <laughs> and it's away from these children but today was like a really stressful day I wanted to go get my dress altered for my own just David's bridal and things though I've lost a considerable amount of weight the puppies are not as big as they used to be I mean, they don't fill out like they used to so yeah, um, it fit around the waist area. It was one of them, like, corset, the bustier strap, it was the neat bubbers for all things. It fit around the midsection. It's actually smaller than the one I had tried on to actually fit the dress. Um, but in the cup area, it just did not fit. And they had nothing in the store that could accommodate me, so I couldn't get my dress altered. I was so frustrated. I was so mad. This close to being a bridezilla. That's close. But it didn't happen. Um, I got really frustrated. I needed I needed to take a t I needed to take a time out, but I um uh, inevitably I was okay. So now they're telling me I should go to a a lingerie store and get fitted da, 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 da. that money I don't have and that's kind of stressing me out um, only good thing is like I did look online at um, Boscov's and they had what I need I, I, and inadvertently a body shaper honestly you know I think a body shaper would be better than that thing and it's like it's a body shape one piece body shaper you know legs torso whatever and it was strapless and had the bra part and it was actually three dollars cheaper than Davis Bridal but I was using Davis Bridal um, uh, um, like credit card thingy so there lies my dilemma I could pay it off later but I pay for it now um, it totally stressed me out totally now I've got to figure out how where I'm gonna get six fifty six dollars from and everything and I'm like oh, this is so not in the budget not in the budget and like I feel bad because like all the money was coming from my fiance and I've been like looking for work steadily I've been filling out applications since the beginning of this year um, one job I had to actually turn down because I didn't have a car or a license um, I had applied for Social Security Disability last year, but I'm getting better day by day. I'm getting like a little bit better, so it's like, what's, by the time they approve me, what's the point? I mean, I got a follow-up hearing, appeal hearing, um, two weeks after my wedding, but that's the last rod. That that goes through. I'm not doing it no more. I'm gonna just. I just gotta continue to look for work. It's the only thing, and this looking for work for a needle in a haystack and it's just so stressful I mean it took them nine months to come up with a decision of, to reject me I don't want it to take another nine months I mean come on especially since I want to move I want to get out of here financial issues is too much too too much And some people might be asking, well, why are you getting married? Isn't that a financial bur a burden? Well, being as though I have kindness from friends, family, and my church, this wedding is going on much cheaper than to be expected. Um, it's like I said, I told some other people, I should own stock in the dollar store. For as much stuff I got from the dollar store, I like the the nicer dollar stores. I mean, you know, I have I had some good stuff in some dollar stores, 
between the dollar store, Oriental Trading Company, and Party City. Those are my resources. I mean, I think I got these fans that are favors from um, this other website. And I didn't realize how expensive they might might be. And I don't think I even have enough. That's like, so I decided to mandate that all women get them because you know you don't see no man with no sandalwood fans going like that they do they probably pick up the, the program give you a little but you know we'll just do it like that favor is a favor you know um i've cut corners in so many ways for this wedding to go on the most expensive thing actually is my dress everything else is just too much. I have less than 25 days till I get married. It's gonna happen one way or another. It is what it is. It's gonna happen. I'm missing a couple of things. Granted, I have to finish my veil number one. I started making my veil. I started a um, online business of uh, making bridal accessories. Um, I make corsages, mirrors, um, hair pieces, um, veils, um, tinkering in, in certain kinds of bouquets, um, like custom order type things. I'm doing that for people who are on a budget, basically cheaper and like. Um, people allergic to flowers and cost and stuff so basically I'm doing in silk flowers and stuff like that but I went shopping for a veil and I was at Davis Bridal and it was $150 and I'm making my veil now and I've spent under under five so you see I've been cutting corners and it looks very nice I mean I was in Davis Bridal and they had these little rhinestones speckled on it plain and simple no borders, nothing like that. And it was $150. I'm doing mine with the sparkles and a uh, satin ribbon trim and ribbon on the, the comb. Under $5. But, um, so I hope my employment situation changes with business coming in from this venture I'm uh, going into. Um, if you're on Facebook, I might have sent you a link to Maxwell's Bridal Accessories. Um, that's my business. Uh, I'm also on Amazon.com under the same thing. Uh, excuse me. Um, under, I want to try to make create my own website, but I need to finish some of the, the projects I'm working on. So I have uh, enough uh, photos of what I can do and the quality of my work. But um, I had some new subbies. I wanted to thank you all. I haven't been able to physically come and do it, but now that I have this new little computer, I'll try to keep up with that and, and make sure I show you uh, some love. Um, what else? I think I'll be posting a link to my wedding website in the sidebar time's ticking by if you want to show me some love me and my fiance some love um, my youtube friends go to the guest book at my our wedding website and drop us a little note um other than that i appreciate everybody viewing my new subbies thanks for listening to my semi wills related rant and um and yeah hope i didn't scare you too much with all this darkness <laughs> but i'm so cool i'm so comfortable out here um till the next video i bid you adieu